this is like the fourth intro I've recorded for the day. So keep me in your side, cause I can do this all night. Hey everyone, it is Nicole from Nicolo's Nails. Welcome to my channel if you are new around here. Hi, I am Nicole. It's nice to meet you. Thank you for clicking on this video. Do consider hitting that subscribe button if you enjoy nail polish related content. I upload new videos every single week featuring both indie, mainstream, as well as boutique nail polish brands. I also do live streams on the weekends, so you know, we have a lot of fun around here. Do consider hitting that subscribe button. If you are in fact a returning subscriber, welcome back! How are you doing? I hope everyone's having a fantastic week. So today's video is for the August Hella Handmade Creations. If you are new, Hella Handmade Creations is a monthly indie collaboration featuring many different indie brands. Each brand follows their own set theme and they keep it going for a couple of months. All the polishes are exclusive to the Hella Hemi Creations website and sale period. So Hella Hemi Creations opens up on the 14th on hellahemicreations.com. As per usual, I will have links down in the description box where you can purchase these polishes, the Hella Hemi Creations social media pages, my social media pages, as well as a link to my blog post where I host all of my swatch photos. Also on my blog post, I will have each individual maker's website and social media pages if you would like to support each individual maker. Also down in the description box, I will have timestamps if you would like to skip ahead to a certain polish. Uh, yeah, let's just get into this video. Next up, we have Bee's Knees Lacquer with I'll Always Be Thinking of You. Bee's Knees is continuing their Demon Slayer theme, and this polish was inspired by Tanjiro. This polish is described as being a dark turquoise jelly base with black to red and black to blue multi-chrome flakies. It is priced at $13.50 for 15ml and has no cap. So this polish had a really great jelly formula. It does start off and stay fairly sheer, so you will want to build this one up to get the most opacity, or you can also use this one as a topper over a variety of colors. The flakies all spread up very evenly and easily without giving off any texture. You will definitely want top coat for this one just to give it a nice glossy finish, but overall removal won't be overly difficult. So I accidentally deleted footage off of my SD card for this polish, so I don't have like movement shots for it for a full hand swatch, but I do have lots of swatch photos. So you know, use your imagination, I suppose. <laughs> Sorry. Um, as I mentioned, nothing here is going to be difficult to remove. The flakies likely will be a little bit messy and no issues with staining. So Crystal Knockout is joining Hella Hemi Creations and they're starting a new theme called Habitat of the Cat. This polish is called Will to Survive. It is described as being a reddish orange to a banana thermal base filled with black dot glitters and hex glitters in light green, white, orange, and black. It is priced at $11 for 15ml and has no cap. This polish had a fantastic formula. It is on the thicker side of normal, but what I would expect from a glitter Crelly, especially one that is also a thermal. The glitters do spread very evenly and easily. They do give off a bit of texture. Depending on your own personal preference, you're either gonna want like one real thick coat of top coat. I opted to go for two coats of top coat and I did include a glitter smoothing top coat on my swatch. The thermal aspects in here started changing on me right away. I found both colors to be as described. So I swatched this one in three coats plus two coats of top coat. I could see if you have shorter nails than me going in for two coats of color with two coats of top coat. Removal will be on the more messy side if you even think about scrubbing this one off. I used a peel off base coat. Next up, we have Color Spectrum Polish with Bringing Barbie Back. Color Spectrum Polish is continuing their series inspired by Barbie, and this polish specifically was inspired by the 1959 first issue vintage Barbie. This polish is described as being a linear holographic base with black holographic and black hex glitters. It is priced at $12.50 for 13ml and has a cap of 100 bottles. This polish had a really good formula. I did find that it was a little bit on the thinner side and a little bit sheer, so you will definitely want to build this one up to get the most opacity. Depending on thickness of coats, you might have some visible nail line with this polish in three coats. If you go in for thicker coats, it won't be as noticeable. The black hex glitters in here are pretty sparse on the nail. I did notice that if you hold the bottle upside down, you will get more of them out on the nail. I actually did that for my live swatch because I forgot to give the polish a good shake before I swatched it. But for my full hand swatch, I did not hold the bottle upside down between coats. The extra glitters do not give this polish any extra texture. One coat of top coat seemed to smooth it up very nicely. This polish is also extremely holographic. Sadly, the sun disappeared when I brought this one outside, so all you're seeing is this like gray, but this one is very holographic and will look fantastic in natural sunlight as well as indoors. 
So I swatched this one in three coats plus glossy top coat. You will want top coat for this one just to give it a nice glossy finish. Removal won't be overly difficult even if for some reason you decide to scrub this polish off. Next up we have Heather's Hughes with I Just Don't Care At All. Heather's Hughes is continuing their theme inspired by Billie Eilish and this polish is described as being a pastel teal blue curly base filled with a mix of glitters and flakes in various shades of pink, purple, and teal. It is priced at $12.50 for 15 ml and has no cap. This polish had a fantastic formula. It was just a little bit on the thicker side, but what I would expect from a polish that just has so many different glitters and flakies in it. Those glitters and flakies do give this polish a quite a bit of texture, so I did opt to pair this one with a glitter smoothing top coat before going in with my quick dry top coat and that smoothed it out perfectly. So I do not seal teal in this polish at all. In my notes, I originally wrote it down that it was like a light sky blue. Either way, I really like just the color combination because like pink, blue, and purple, those are like the colors of nail polish that I gravitate to with the most. So yeah, I really like the glitter mix paired with that blue base color. So I swatched this polish in three coats with two coats of top coat. I could potentially see if you have much shorter nails with not much of a free edge getting away with just two coats. Everyone else, including those of you who also really like glitter, will want to go in for three coats. Removal will be on the more difficult side. Do not scrub this one off. You will be sad and you will question your life choices. As far as non-nail polish items, I do have one from Heather's Hughes and this is her What is This Sorcery Lotion. This month the scent is Cotton Candy Princess. I do not have the information for it, but based off of memory, this one's going to be $7 for two ounces and have a cap of probably 50 or 60 jars. So I love sweet, sugary scents, but I feel like I, I don't know how I felt about cotton candy on my, on like for lotion. But personally, this, the scent on here, I had a lot of nostalgia. This scent on here reminded me of like that, um, that pink chapstick from the brand Chapstick that I wore a lot as a child. Like, I think it was supposed to be cherry. It might have been strawberry, but it was one of those two fruits. And it has that scent to me. So this one smells very nostalgic to me. I would not say it smells like cotton candy to my nose, but we also know my nose sometimes smells things that aren't there. Example, if this is supposed to smell like cotton candy and my dumb ass is smelling strawberries. Overall, I do like the fragrance a lot. If you've never seen one of my reviews for this lotion, Heather's Hughes What Is This Sorcery Lotion is my personal favorite lotion in the whole world. I buy it a lot. I have a lot of them. Like, I buy it a lot for a reason. Definitely, like, my favorite lotion. It's my go-to. If you do have an allergy to nuts, I wouldn't recommend it due to it having sweet almond oil in it. For everyone else, I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend picking up this lotion. It's fantastic. I will say this lotion also sells out real quick on the website, so definitely get there early if you like to pick it up. Next up, we have Music City Beauty with 9 to 5. Music City Beauty is continuing their theme based on Dolly Parton, and this polish is described as being a light purple base with hot pink micro flakies as well as holographic flakes. It is priced at $12.50 for 15 ml and has a cap of 100 bottles. 9 to 5 had a really nice formula. This is a very soft, light pink shade. So this one does start off a little bit uneven. I did notice that if you overwork this one or really press hard with your brush, you will likely cause some bald spots. With careful application, this one could be a two-coater. I did not do careful application, so I swatched this one in three coats. The flakies in here are super, super, super tiny, so they will not dry down texture. They're not top coat hungry in the slightest. The holographic in here, it is visible, but it's not like a bam in your face holographic, but it is a really pretty one nonetheless. So I swatched this one in three coats with one coat of top coat. Removal will be very easy and no issues with staining. Next up, we have Night Owl Lacquer with Hysterical High Pitch Screaming. This is the final polish in the Psych theme, and this polish is specifically inspired by the many hilarious occasions in which Sean and Gus scream when startled. This polish is described as being a bright green and linear holographic with a glowy green slash gold slash bronze shimmer. It is priced at $13 for 15 ml and has no cap. This polish has a fantastic formula. This is super, super, super holographic and the shimmer gives it a really nice glow as well. This one is going to be a two to three coater depending on your nail length. Longer nails will likely want to go in for three coats. 
I will note that this is not a dupe for the Night Owl Lacquer Polish called I Think All of You from last year's fall collection. Um, two different colors. I have a side-by-side -side comparison up on my blog post. Nothing in here is going to dry down textured or be difficult to remove. You will want top coat just to give this a nice glossy finish. Next up, we have Pretty Beautiful Unlimited. Pretty Beautiful Unlimited is continuing their theme based on The Witcher, and this polish is inspired by Ciri's Eyes. It is described as being a turquoise jelly base with a gold to green shifting shimmer, emerald and blue reflective glitters, as well as gold to copper to green chameleon flakies. It is priced at $13 for 15ml and has a cap of 150 bottles. I think I forgot to mention that this polish is called Daughter of Chaos, so that is the name. So this polish had a really good formula. It was on the thicker side, but not unusually so for something that also has flakies and light reflective glitters. This one starts off a little bit sheer, but coverage is very even. If you don't have any issues with visible nail line, this will be passable in two coats. If you want full coverage, I would say this is going to be a three coater. So those flakies and glitters all spread out very evenly and easily. The light reflective glitters do give this one a bit of texture. I did opt to pair this one with a glitter smoothing top coat before going with my quick dry top coat. So I could easily see both the green and the blue reflex in person without any added light just under natural sunlight. So I do think this one's going to be a two to three coater depending on personal preference. Removal will likely be very messy and on the more difficult side due to those reflective glitters. I used a peel-off base coat. You could also soak this one off with minimal issue, and I did not have any issues with staining. Next up, we have Sassy Sauce Polish with Metamorphosis. Sassy Sauce Polish is continuing their theme based off of butterflies, and this polish is described as being an ocean blue jelly base with a strong pink to purple to gold to green color shift, as well as black to red multi-chrome flakies. It is priced at $13 for 15 ml and has a cap of 100 bottles. Metamorphosis had a really great formula. This one does start off a little bit sheer, so you will definitely want to build it up for the most opacity. If you don't mind obvious visible nail line, it will be passable in two coats. The shimmer in here is super strong and super color shifty. It looked absolutely stunning. I was seeing all of the described colors in person. The flakies all spread it very evenly and easily without giving off any texture. For my full hand swatch, I did swatch this one in three coats. Nothing in here is going to dry down textured or be difficult to remove. Excuse the background noise, Sassy has entered the room. And the final polish I have to share is by Swamp Gloss, and this one is called Grow Better. Swamp Gloss is continuing their series inspired by Good Omens, and this one is described as being a deepened turquoise base with neon green and aqua marine hex glitters. It is priced at $12.50 for 15ml and has a cap of 200 bottles. Grow Better had a really great jelly formula. It does start off fairly sheer, but it does build up pretty nicely for opacity. I will say, depending on thickness and coats, you might have some very obvious visible nail line to very slight visible nail line. I feel like I went in a little bit thinner for, in coats for my live swatch, so my visible nail line is a bit more apparent than it was in my swatch photos. The glitters in here all spread out very evenly and easily, and I don't know how this brand does it, but they seem to always have glitter polishes that I can just use one coat of top coat and it smooths them out perfectly. Like I very, very rarely ever need to use a glitter smoothing top coat with this brand's glitter polishes. Don't know how they do it. Some kind of witchcraft, I am sure. <laughs> the glitters will still be on the more difficult side to remove if you opt to scrub this one off. I use a peel off base coat. You can also soak this one off with minimal issue. I love this polish with a matte top coat. Like there's a something about this one with a matte top coat that really, really got me. Alrighty, and so that is everything. What'd you think? So my top pick this month is going to be, surprise, surprise, the Heather's Hughes polish, I just don't care at all. I'm sure when you saw the swatches, you saw that Heather came out with a glitter crelly, so you all knew I was gonna go with the glitter crelly. And you're right, this is gonna be my top pick. I love it, I think it's fantastic. I love this brand's glitter crellies. I love glitter crellies in general, so yeah. Love, 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 love this polish. Also, no surprise when it comes to top picks, we also have the Swamp Gloss Polish Grow Better. I don't know, there's one thing I will say about this brand's glitter polishes that I try. I am always amazed that they somehow do something with the base. I don't know what it is, but like I never really have to use a glitter smoothing top coat with their glitter polishes. I don't know how they do it. I would love to know how they do it. 
and it was really fantastic and yeah I really liked it for that reason and speaking of glitter I would also like to put the crystal knockout polish as a top pick so initially the base color on this one wasn't really doing it for me but there was a something about the thermal aspect that like turned it for me not liking like not loving the color of the polish to really liking just the combination and there's just something kind of a little spooky, a little fall, a full autumn-y about like the glitter mix paired with the base color. So yeah, I liked it for that reason. I would love to know what everyone else thought of this release. What you plan on picking up? You plan on shopping Hell Anime Creations? Let me know down in the comment section. So as I mentioned, these polishes will launch on August 14th on HellHemmeCreations.com. The shop opens up at 12.01 a.m. Eastern time. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Oops, my finger was in the way. <laughs> hey, Miss Camo. Good morning. What happened to your ear? Hold on. Good morning. Oh, look at the little, oh my God, look at the little boy. Oh, you guys are so stinking cute.